A 38-year-old quadriplegic man with only slight movement of his head fell out of bed at a Raleigh rehab center and died. His father is on a mission to find out what really happened. He told WRL investigative reporter Sarah Kruger the facility's story just doesn't add up. are photos of Carl Michaud Jr. the way his dad hopes his only child and best friend will be remembered as a longtime coach of youth baseball in Raleigh and an avid outdoorsman. He loved whitewater rafting. He loved going mountain biking. Yet so much of that was taken away from him unexpectedly. In 2014, a rare infection led to him becoming quadriplegic. I actually took it harder than he did, and he was consoling me. Yeah, that's the thing that struck us when we first met him was his optimism. Carl Jr.'s spirit touched Keith Wagler and his wife, who quickly became his close friends, visiting him often at Raleigh Rehabilitation Center on Wade Avenue. He never complained about his situation, like, and we would leave, like, in awe of that. On July 12th, Carl Michaud Sr. says he got a call from Raleigh Rehab that his son had fallen out of bed. By the time he got to the hospital to see him, he was already dead. Carl Sr. says his son was only able to make slight movements with his head. So to him, the facility's explanation is impossible. You know your son could not have fallen out of the bed on his own. Absolutely no way. I promised him I'd find out and I'd get to the bottom of this, no matter what it takes. Carl Sr. says he has so many questions and the facility won't take his calls to answer them. So I called them to ask for an interview. Hi, this is Sarah Kruger with WRAL News. I By phone, Raleigh Rehab told me someone would be in touch soon. About an hour after that call, I did hear back from Raleigh Rehab. They emailed me a statement. It calls the situation a tragic event and says because this is an ongoing investigation and due to confidentiality, the center will not be releasing any specifics. WRAL investigates found in reports from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services that there were at least two other patient falls at the facility. One in February of this year when a patient rolled off the bed after being turned on her side. She survived and the facility had to complete a safety improvement plan. The other fall was in 2021 during a transfer. Raleigh Rehab was fined nearly $51,000. The patient had a lacerated spleen and bleeding on the brain. In your times visiting him, did you ever see anything in the facility that troubled you? Oh, yeah. The two men described roach infestations and issues with inadequate meals. They say Carl Jr. wanted to stay, though, because he had a private room, something he likely would not get anywhere else. Carl Sr. wants Raleigh Rehab to be held accountable, and he wants an assurance they'll take steps to prevent further tragedies. He didn't fall out of bed. It's something happened and I don't know what happened, but like I said, I'm not going to rest until I get answers. And I don't care if I have to borrow every last penny in the world and I'm going to make sure I get it right. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Raleigh. The State Department of Health and Human Services confirmed to WRAL it is conducting an inspection of the Raleigh Rehabilitation Center. So far, those results are not final.